The Razer Death Adder Elite is 25 bucks, link below, just freaking get it. I'm Rio Gion and welcome to the channel. This is a light mouse, so the downside is that people might think it's cheap. But the upside is that it's easy to make maneuvers. This mouse is geared towards people that play FPS and RTS. During these games, you need to make large movements. I think having a lighter mouse means it's going to be easier to make those movements. Since I have bigger hands, I am a palm grip guy. This mouse is perfect for me. But if you have smaller hands, you might want to feel the mouse first before pulling the trigger. Also, the same can be said of your claw grip. I tried claw grip and it doesn't feel that comfortable. Then again, it could just be me. The coating on the mouse doesn't feel slippery, but I feel like over time it will attract fingerprint and dust pretty easily. If you want to find out how this mouse looked like after a while, I say check out Craigslist on used ones. Anyways, here's what the mouse sounds like. This is a light mouse, so the downside is that people might think it's cheap. But the upside is that it's easy to make maneuvers. This mouse is geared towards people that play FPS and RTS. During these games, you need to make large movements. I think having a lighter mouse means it's going to be easier to make those movements. Since I have bigger hands, I am a palm grip guy. This mouse is perfect for me. But if you have smaller hands, you might want to feel the mouse first before pulling the trigger. Also, the same can be said of your claw grip. I tried claw grip and it doesn't feel that comfortable. Then again, it could just be me. The coating on the mouse doesn't feel slippery, but I feel like over time it will attract fingerprint and dust pretty easily. If you want to find out how this mouse looked like after a while, I say check out Craigslist on used ones. Anyways, here's what the mouse sounds like. The back of the mouse is pretty straightforward. If you have two pads on each side, keep the mouse going smoothly. There is some information in the mouse and surprisingly it's not made in China. The cable is braided and the USB tip is gold with green insert so you might like this combination or you might not. The software is easy enough since it's RGB. You can set through a variety of different color options and lighting effects which is nice. I believe that over 90% of gaming mice require some kind of software so this one is no different. You can macro buttons that are on a mouse which can be useful if you want to make the side buttons do something else. In terms of performance I think stage 2 is the sweet spot but you can always go up if it's not your taste. In terms of lighting there are lots of lighting effects but there's only 2 points for lighting so the option might be more limiting than you think. Overall I say the software is good enough in terms of getting the job done. This mouse retails as a terrible $70, but as of this video you can get it for $25 which is a freaking sweet deal because this money is cheapo gaming mouse money and you can get something like this. I would say grab it even if you already have a gaming mouse, just grab it and sell it later or something. People will buy this. I bought it and I have no regrets. So link down below for more detail. Just go get it. Subscribe, like for more content. You guys stay awesome.